What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kat. This is my channel and it is time to clean out my purse, y'all. Dear Lord in heaven. <laughs> uh, so, we're gonna be cleaning out my Louis Vuitton Tornell bag. Um, I did a whole unboxing of this bag. I purchased it secondhand from LuxuryGarageSale.com um, and the reason I did that was because by the time I got the balls to buy this bag, it was no longer being sold um, on Louis Vuitton's website. So I did buy it basically brand new without tags. Um, as you can see, it is already starting to patina, but I'm okay with that. I kind of like the patina look. So, um, but this is my everyday bag. It is huge. I think this is the PM versus the MM bag. And I'd never actually seen it in person, so I didn't know how large it was. And y'all, this thing is heavy. Um, my mom picked it up and she said, do you have bricks in there? What do you got in there? So um, it's time to find out what's in here. And just by looking at the top of it, I mean, the majority of it is receipts and paperwork. Um, for those that don't know, I have been in and out of doctor's offices and hospitals this year for various different things. So I have lots of, like I know for a fact right off the top, these are my medical records for one of my doctors, so that can come out first. Um, but there is a pocket in the front. This is the only zip pocket, so I guess we're just gonna go ahead and get right into this. Um, I have a business card from one of the bridal salons I went to, and oh yeah, this is a William Sonoma business card as well for the lady that helped us with our wedding registry. And then a receipt for Petco that can be Crashed. There's gonna be a lot of receipts in this, but usually I use this pocket to keep feminine hygiene products in because there is no zip pocket on the inside. That's the only downfall I can find with this bag. Um, but let's just start digging into this because I've got to get this thing cleaned out. Uh, so there are two pockets on the inside, and right now, what's in those pockets? I'm trying to pull it out. I've got one pocket that's got change in it, so that's going to go in my change jar, and then I have a pen and an empty Cambia package. This is my migraine medicine. Um, it comes in powder form, and these are really cool. These are the new pens that I asked um, our office manager to get me. I don't know if you can see them. There we go. They look kind of like, um, like feather and quill pens. I don't know what those are called, but I wanted to try them, and they're actually really awesome. So. Okay, on to the paperwork. I recently had to switch doctors, so this is that. This is an order. This is more paperwork. So these are going to go in my medical files. I just got a big new um, filing cabinet, so I have space now. Before, I was just using an accordion folder, so. Okay, this is garbage from work. We've got receipts. TJ Maxx receipt. What did I buy? Anything interesting? Literally can't even tell. Okay. <laughs> I have a funny note from one of my coworkers that I need to keep. Um, I have Bath and Body Works coupons. Those need to stay. Tissues. Those can go. Uh, more receipts. Pearl Tavern. And okay, this has to stay. This is a receipt from Jared Jewelry. So, uh, if you guys saw my engagement ring, I have a, let me see if I can get it up there so you guys can see it. It has all these little details and it has a band that is specially fit so it fits within all the band detailing. And um, they no longer make this ring anymore, which is kind of cool for me because I like to have things that are rare that people don't have. Um, but it comes with one band and I always thought it looked kind of odd to just have the one band. So I'm having two bands made, another band so I have two. Um, so that is the receipt for that. Um, and that should be here in February just in time for us to get married in May. And then I also um, had a custom piece made for Brett as um, my wedding gift to him. So that is what that is for and it needs to stay. I may do a video on that when it comes in. More receipts. Let me know if you're interested in seeing the piece that I'm giving to Brett at our wedding. Obviously, I will not show it until after the wedding in May um, because, you know, Brett occasionally watches my stuff or watches me edit the stuff or hears me editing the stuff. So, 
Um, okay, we've got more books of coupons from Yankee Candle. I think that one's already expired. I have Ace Hardware, that's for Brett, I can stay. Uh, this is an event from a client of mine that I went to. I don't really need that anymore. We've got more Bath and Body Works coupons. I have a reminder to take my cat in for her shots. Uh, and I've got a men's warehouse mailer for Brett. A lot of times I get the mail and then I put it in my bag and I never get rid of it. Um, another JC Penney's receipt. This is a receipt from the doctor's office. What doctor was this? Oh, this is a receipt for my copay to see my dietitian. So I'll save that for tax return season. I have, what is this? A reminder for my IUD, that will stay also. Trader Ho's receipt, Arby's receipt, Shutterfly coupons. Oh, I have these cute little Santa stamps. How cute are those? My mom gave me those, so those will go in my mail drawer. Uh, one of my cousins went overseas and she went to all these really cool places and she brought a couple little things back for me and my mom. So she brought me this little bag, handmade bag made uh, in Egypt. So it's just a little zip bag and I'll have to find some use for it. But I think it's really pretty and I love the, um, the gold threading on it. I have a Michael Kors wallet that I need to put in my pile of things to sell. My mom gave me this out of her closet. She didn't want it anymore, and I sell a lot of our stuff on Poshmark or ThreadUp. All right, I have a tag from Macy's. Oh, this was from the receipt, or from the, um, not receipt, the tie that Brett bought to wear to the Nutcracker. I have a little lipstick container. So it's one of those like old lady ones that has the mirror in it and everything. And then the lipstick inside is uh, Revlon. Color is 700 Celestial, oh, I'm sorry, Crystal Cut Coral. And the reason this is in my bag is because it was my grandmother's and it was in her bag. So I've used it once, but um, it usually just sits in my bag. I have more Bath & Body Works coupons. These are still good, so I'm gonna keep those. I have a post-it note that's trash. I have a single American dollar bill. Is this even interesting? I don't know, my mom was like, people actually watch those, and I know I watch them, but. Expired Victoria's Secret coupons. I have a uh, parking pass for downtown Kansas City. I have another giant receipt for Jared's. See, they got me, they suckered me into getting a credit card there and now I have a problem. I just like diamonds, okay? Barry's Pizza. What is this from? Oh, this is from the airport, okay. In October. Uh, this is a donation card from the gal I went to. Uh, this is my... Sephora, I think it's a Sephora card. Yeah, this was like a Sephora gift card holder thingy that I got for Christmas one year. And it holds like all of my reward cards and such. I probably need to go through these eventually. Oh yeah, I also have um, like the business cards for our plumber and photographers for events and things. My Sephora card, Chili's gift cards, all kinds of stuff. So whenever I get gift cards, they go in here because my wallet, which I'll show you in a minute, is so small. It's basically the same size as this. So I need to get a new wallet. That was on my list, but um, today is actually Black Friday and I have yet to find a wallet that I want because I want one that matches this bag, but Louis Vuitton doesn't put things on sale. So uh, next I have a Key Australia sunglasses pouch but it has my vintage Dior sunglasses in it look at that ring light glare ooh ah um, I actually got these on eBay and I'm going to be doing an eBay uh, luxury haul of all of the designer luxury items that I purchased off of eBay so that is coming soon I'm waiting to get a couple more things in the mail because 
I only have a couple of things. I mean, I haven't purchased anything that's coming in the mail, but I'm waiting to do it till I have more than like three things to show you. Another receipt, Bath and Body Works coupon. This one's still viable. This one is not. Pen that can go elsewhere. I'm so worried about pens in this bag, like this one that has the, the click up top and no lid. I hate having these in my bag because I have one, two marks. Oh, hi. Look who came to say hi. Hi, princess. You wanna show him your, your pretty little Christmas bow? He's got a Christmas collar on. Are you helping mommy? Are you done? I think she's done. Okay, there you go. She's just gonna run around and jump in my stuff while I clean it out. Um, I have my business card holder. It is, what is this brand? My flat in London, I think. Yeah, so it has all of my various business cards and then it has, like I use this pocket and this pocket, although my card's going here, but there's like a card pocket here and a card pocket here and I use those for business cards of people that I am meeting. Oh my God. And I need to take all of these out of here because there are so many. I meet a lot, a lot of people in my job. So, um, where did I put those other ones? Which means I probably need to put some more cards in here that are mine. Um, although there aren't that many events happening the end of the year. So I'm probably good for a while. But now this thing is so light and empty and I only have Oh, I only have one business card for my actual like job job in here. And then I have the rest are like my family foundation cards. So that can go back. I have another receipt for Cheesecake Factory. That's from a while ago. Can you even see her? She's, oh yeah, you can. She's right over there. We have my tiny little wallet. It is uh, marked by Marc Jacobs and I did get this um, I thrifted this for two dollars and it is authentic so that was cool for me I did just thrift it so that I could use it for when I go on vacation and don't want to take a full wallet and it's turned into just my everyday wallet and it's just too small it's too too small all right we're getting to the bottom <laughs> I have more business cards oh my god okay more Bath and Body Works coupons that are expired I have another PetSmart receipt. I need this one because it goes with this collar that I got for Rory that is too big for my tiny little girl. This is a size small. I need an extra small. And the other thing is it's a dog collar anyway and doesn't have like a smart like release thing that they have for cats. So this needs to go back in my purse and I will return it, but not today when it's Black Friday. <laughs> That would be insane. Uh, I have a list of doctor's offices that I will keep. Something just fell on the floor. It is another business card. Told you guys, every time I go out of my house, I swear I'm meeting someone and getting another business card. All right, we've got some pads and a tampon. Lovely, those can go in that zipper pocket where they belong. Okay. I have an alcohol wipe, I don't need that, and a Missouri House of Representative, uh, his business card, I met him at an event, we've got another card for Bath and Body Works, I have a gift card, didn't I use this whole gift card, I feel like I used this whole gift card, and then a high V grocery shopper thing. I had my entire purse dumped out in my car like last week. So hair tie. That's one of my good ones. Another pen. Right, Rory? I have my Saks credit card. Yeah, that needs to go back in. I have a 25 off of 125 purchase for Victoria's Secret, which I don't need anymore because I robbed them practically yesterday. I got such good deals. Um, I have a necklace that I must have worn and decided I didn't want to wear anymore, so I threw it in my purse. That can go elsewhere. Oh my god, the bottom of my bag is covered in pen marks. Wow, that's just typical. 
so I mean this is a bag that I don't ever plan on getting rid of anyway but luckily it's just pen and I can get it off um, speaking of pens that's probably why there's so many marks in my bag uh, I have a Spartina bracelet and if you watch my uh, thrift videos you would have seen that I thrifted a vintage Christian Dior coat and it had buttons on it and a bunch of the buttons it was being sold as is because some of the buttons were off so I have that one button I think there's another one in here maybe not maybe it's just that one button I can't remember but um oh wait here's the other one I knew there were two of them so that coat is at the dry cleaners right now last three pens oh my god how many pens do I need I also have a cucumber melon hand sanitizer, which I keep in there for thrifting, straw paper, tissue paper, uh, some key sunglasses. These are the ones that actually go in that case, but my Dior ones did not, where did they even go? <laughs> they did not even have a case when I bought them. So I have a protein bar that's probably been in there for three months that should probably go in the garbage. And then, another hair tie and a chapstick this is so thrilling another chapstick this is the fresh sugar peach they actually sent this to me um and i did a little video on that i have a set of hoop earrings oh my gosh we're almost there i've got a bunch of bobby pins in here these ones have shells on them, which is pretty cool. I got those for the summer for our uh, vacation of Florida. I have another little bracelet. That cat is sitting so patiently waiting for me. See, animals pick their person and I am her person. I have this giant key and I don't remember what it's for. Oh, I think this is the key to my P.O. box, which is always down below in my description. That's right, because it goes in this and this dumped out that's right and then the last few things there's a couple more pieces of trash what the heck is this there's just a random little tassel okay and the last things in here are some more uh some hair <laughs> and some change so the bag is empty I'm gonna have to get some shout and get those pen marks out of it and then put everything back in. Um, I hope you enjoyed this silly little video with me and that you'll subscribe down below to see more videos. I try to post on Mondays and Fridays. Notice I'm gonna start saying I'm going to try because I am not great at this right now, but um, I hope you will subscribe. Become a member of the Warrior Crew so you can see more of me and Miss Aurora Dawn, right? Good luck to everybody shopping on Black Friday. I hope you got what you wanted. And I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I'm, as always, thankful for you guys. Um, and thankful for my fluffy one, right? She would be thankful if I would put her down. Uh, and we will catch you in the next one. Love you, Warrior Crew. Bye! Is that what you have to say?